I kept having one of those days where every few hours I wish I had vlogged today and things kept happening where I was like, oh, I wish I was vlogging today because this would make a really good thing for the video or I wish I could capture this moment and then I didn't and suddenly it is 8.30 p.m. and I just got a package in the mail at 8 p.m. and I kept thinking I wish I vlogged today and I am upset that I kept thinking that all day instead of realizing that just because I didn't start at the beginning of the day doesn't mean I can't pick up the camera and start vlogging. I do wish that I was able to capture my Saturday because really cool things happen today that I want to look back on but I guess I can still talk about it even though I won't be able to take you there with me. I'll try to make it as engaging as possible. I, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't vlog. This has always been one of my biggest tips in my early tips for starting a YouTube channel videos is you will always regret not filming, but you won't regret filming something you don't use. Meaning film anyway, regardless as to if you end up using the content because there are so many days in my life that I regret not filming when I was in that moment of, oh, I wish I brought my camera. I wish I vlogged. This morning, I wish I brought my camera. I wish I vlogged. I started this morning off at Mugshot Coffee House in Bloomington. Highly recommend it but I was meeting with a old friend. I'm not that old, but the fact that it feels like an old friend from college, because we graduated five years ago. I was meeting with a friend from college who went into publishing. She had some books for me basically, and I was talking to her all day, and then it flowed into this fun, I know it would have made such a great vlog. We were in the same English, creative writing, poetry, I believe, program. She ended up going into publishing. Me, whenever I do my spiritual videos now, I notice her publishing firm everywhere because she went into a new age, very spiritual publishing firm, and I go into these spiritual shops for crystal videos, and her publisher is like the only work that is there. My calendar in my kitchen is from her publishing company, so we met up and she so graciously had a tote, which also, wouldn't this make a seamless ad if Brooke Lennon could sponsor me? I wish, but she came in with this huge tote of spiritual books that her publishing firm created for me and we talked for hours and I think I'm gonna write a book. <laughs> I could just keep that private because the work is really up to me at this point, but she made it seem so possible and I know it would be so attainable if I could just put in the work. I'm a very strong writer. I went to school for it. I have always wanted to publish work and it's something that I not only have wanted to do, but knew that I will eventually. So the fact that she took the time to basically hype me up and tell me how possible it would be, I'm like, oh my God, I have to do this now. But first, Look at this, look at this. We're gonna do a spiritual book haul right now of everything she gave me. It was just such a beautiful November day too. I had like my big plaid blanket flannelly jacket on and someone opened the door for me as I entered the coffee shop. It felt like I, like it just felt so magical. Little dusts of snow was falling when I walked in. Like I'm upset at myself for not filming it, but Maybe the memory was just meant for me. Anyway, she came in. If you have seen the calendar that I had for this year, I talk about it a lot and I've linked it a lot. It's like the witchy calendar. So her publishing firm, like I mentioned, came up with that. So my friend was able to hook me up with a 2024 calendar. This is the Hedge Witch Botanical calendar for this next year. And it's all kind of like herbal witchy stuff. I'm really excited to kind of mix it up this year and go with the botanical calendar. So she got me this. I'm so, so, so grateful. I'm gonna have to think of something to give her because I wish I brought her something as well, but she got me this Everyday Reiki book as well. And all of these are from her publishing firm, which I'm so grateful for. I'll link everything down below because she knew I would love all these books. And if you watch my content, I'm sure that you would also probably appreciate these books. I have Tarot in Love by Elliot Adam. Look at how fun this one is. I am so excited to read these books. Now I feel like I have a little bit of homework because she also told me a bit about how they publish authors and like how to like pitch books and everything. She basically told me how possible it would be and walked me through all the steps. So now I feel like I need to read these from not only a consumer and a reader's 
perspective, but also as a potential author that would like to be published by the same publishing firm because I need to see how they made it happen. Anyway, crazy. I also have Magical Almanac for 2024. Practical magic for everyday living. Takes you through each day of the month. I opened straight to June, which is so funny because June is my birth month and it feels like a very magical time. Let's go to my birthday, June 17th. Moon phase, color, moon sign, incense to use. Like, this is so cool. I got, so we got this book. She also got me a Wiccan guide for the magical practitioner. Empowerment through witchcraft. Embrace the power of the witch to transform your life by Linda Murphy. This one looks really interesting. I cannot wait to just dive into all of these. Oh, I'm excited for these next two. The 2024 Herbal Almanac. So this one has all the herbs and I kind of identify more as being like an earth witch and like botanical and herbs and all of that. So cutting edge botanical wisdom from all the herbalists. This is so cool. I feel like there's a lot of information in here on what to do with different herbs, like spiritually. I also love all the illustrations, so fun. And then this one, she knows me so well. She got me the Gemini Witch book. Now, yellow is a very personal favorite color, color of mine, but also in terms of spiritualness, like this with your solar plexus, plexus chakra, I feel a connection to, and the fact that there's a butterfly on the cover, and I feel very, very connected to butterflies and Gemini, of course. like. I'm so excited to read this because it's obviously meant for Gemini Sun and there's so much information and I love that the, the primary color in here is simply yellow, yellow and butterflies. She also got me the little book of lunar magic. I really love the texture and cover of this one. It says 90 plus spells, rituals, and recipes for harmonizing with the new moon. I love a good moon spell magic book like this. This one is so cute. And then to top it all off, she even got me a new deck of Oracle cards, which is moon magic. I kind of want to open these right now and see what they look like. Oh my God. My cat Luna just brought a toy to Marnie. Like she had it in her mouth and went to give it to Marnie. That was so sweet. But yeah, so I spent a few hours at the coffee shop talking to her. Um, catching up and then also we just naturally started talking about publishing because it's her job and one thing just led to the next and before I knew it I had ideas for my own work. She reassured me how possible it really is and that she knows I'm a strong writer and took me through all the steps of what it takes and I can see it in my head and that's how I know it's real and it exists because once it's a thought in your mind, it already exists. Anyway, this is the loot from today. I'm so grateful. Thank you again so, so much to my sweet friend. I will link all of these down below, the website, Amazon, all of it. I wanna kind of get familiar with this deck. I also learned what goes into creating and publishing your own tarot and oracle decks, which is also a project down the road that I think would fit into my life pretty seamlessly and I could easily do. So now I know the magic behind publishing a deck. I definitely need to take time to look over the guidebook but this is what the back looks like and then the front we have air moon magic Aaron hood blood moon blue moon cold moon bright moon oh look at that this looks like a really fun deck dark side of the moon unforeseen earth moon magic fertility i love the illustration on this card i definitely drove home from coffee with her feeling so inspired and motivated and like there was a light at the end of the tunnel again because the other day when i was thinking about this winter and I was journaling a little bit, I realized how little, and I know this isn't true, but it was just a thought that came into my head when I was journaling. I realized how little I have to look forward to right now. And now I know there's so much always to look forward to, but like last winter at this time, I feel like I was so excited for the Eras tour and for weddings coming up and trips like New York and California and all this stuff. And I realized right now I don't have anything big this upcoming year to look forward to yet. And it's making me feel very like mundane and just living day to day and not feeling like the, the bigger picture is there. So I feel like I'm oversharing right now and I shouldn't be putting all of this out online, but just talking to her today, planting a seed for projects that I could do later on. She gave me so much to look forward to again and to work toward and remember my strengths and connect with younger me. I think I found it. I think I found what 2024 will be. So that was this afternoon and I got all of these goodies 
and a calendar. I was going to wait until a day when I was vlogging to share these with you and then like I explained today kept going on and I kept thinking like, oh my God, I wish I was vlogging. So this is me vlogging. I also feel like I should text her and make sure she doesn't want this tote back because I'm obsessed with it. I was watching a vlog this morning where Sarah Corelli or Corelli had this tote and she was showing it in an old vlog. Like literally I was watching one of her vlogs from like eight months ago and she showed this. She said it was her favorite tote and that she got it from Brooklyn and when she worked with them and I was watching that vlog before I went to coffee with my friend today thinking that is such a cute tote, I love it. And then this is the tote my friend brings like it didn't feel like real life. And then when I was driving home today, it didn't feel like reality either, but in a, the best way possible. That was like the majority of my daylight. I got home at 2.30 and then by like 4 p.m. it was getting dark, dark out. So I just got some work done, cleaned a little bit. I think Ashton's parents are going to come over tomorrow. So I wanna make sure that my house is clean for them. And then I finished November 9th. And this was a moment too, when I was curled up on the couch, I had both the cats snuggling around me when I wished I was vlogging like a day in the life or a reading vlog or something because it was one of those curled up sweet moments in my home where I wish I could capture it. And I did take pictures, but the fact that Marnie was like laying on my chest, I couldn't get up to get the camera. My vlogging camera was upstairs and I was curled up on the couch, but you can see in the picture. I wanted to read this in early November for obvious reasons and I wanted to talk about it. And I knew if I waited another day when I was vlogging to talk about this book, the emotions or excitement would wear off and I probably wouldn't even mention it. I will say it's not one of my favorites of Colleen Hoover, but it's not the worst. It was like half to three fourths of this book. It was kind of dulling out. Like I couldn't really see what was going on that would make me more interested. But once I got to a bigger plot twist that I didn't see coming, I'd say there are two plot twists near the end that Colleen Hoover like tries to get you with. I don't know if I just wasn't expecting a plot twist because it was a coho book or if I was just thinking this was like a light romance where I'm like, okay, like where is the story going? Blah, blah, blah. But I didn't even predict it. I didn't see it coming. I did have a little like jaw dropped gasp moment of, oh my God, mostly with the first one, not the second big plot twist that kind of takes over the rest of the book. It made up for the beginning part of the book because I just wasn't wasn't really sure how I was going to get into it and then I did get into it toward the end. I will say it's really not that spicy for Colleen Hoover. There's only like one scene a little bit. I'd probably rate it like three stars. Definitely not a favorite but definitely not the worst for Colleen Hoover and I just wanted that November 9th feeling. I found a really great playlist on Spotify, I'm totally following in Sarah Corelli's footsteps just to give her full credits for my personality for the rest of my life. I bring that up because she always finds playlists to listen to while she reads that go with the book. So I was taking some notes out of her book and thinking, okay, let's put on a good playlist and see if I can get into this. And it worked. I found this playlist, POV, you're reading November 9th. I put it on shuffle and it actually worked really well. And there was this one single in it called November 9th. I don't know if this is for the book. It obviously looks like it is, but it was really great to listen to this while finishing the book. So I'm glad I finished it. I can add it to my bookshelf up in my room. The reason that I eventually picked up the camera and said, F it, I'm gonna vlog, is because when I finished that book, I noticed I had a delivery at like 8 p.m., which is very late for a delivery, and I'm not waiting for any packages. So I was very confused when I got this in the mail tonight, but this was the final thing that happened today where I was like, I cannot believe you didn't start vlogging because it just would have been the perfect well-rounded day to vlog. I can tell from the packaging that it is a PR box from Elemis and I have no idea what they sent over, no idea what to expect. There's a bow on it! Isn't this so cute? I need to grab my phone to take a picture of this. I'm really not on a lot of PR lists, so this is very exciting. If anybody works for a company and you're able to add me to a PR list though, definitely let me know and we can chat. Elemis, give gifts that say a little, oh my God. This pro collagen, Marnie. Marnie girl. We have this pro collagen day cream. I'm currently using the Elemis collagen that I got over the summer in a, a PR package. I'm so glad they sent over more though because I was almost out. Ooh, the Jet Setters edit. Then I have this box with all of these goodies in it. I really hope this is a sign that I have a unforeseen trip coming up because that would be really nice if I could use the Jet Setters set on a trip. This is a nice bag. Oh my gosh. 
The fact that my cat is like right here. Are you watching the haul? I have an audience here unboxing this with me. No freaking way. Okay, I'm gonna lay everything out and show you what they sent. Marnie and I are both so thankful. Elemis sent over a Rosemarine Pro Collagen Cream and then this Pro Collagen Ro Rose Cleansing Balm. And then in this little Jet Setters tote, which is so spacious, they sent over a Elemis Shower Cream and then an Elemis body cream as well. We have this Pro Collagen Anti-Wrinkle Hydrating Day Cream, as well as this Eye Revive Pro Collagen Mask for your eyes. I have some facial oil here and a little cleansing balm as well. Thank you so, so much, Elemis. I don't know how I managed to get on your PR and get it sent to my house at 8 p.m., but I'm so grateful for this. I cannot wait to put these away in my bathroom. What a fun little gift. I have so many things to put away tonight. Like, can't wait to find homes for all of these. And the most exciting part for me after finishing reading a new book is when I get to add it to my floating bookshelf of all of the books that I've read. Last night, I organized all of the remaining books on my TBR. So if you saw, I just posted a recent video on all of the books on my TBR list right now. So definitely watch that video. I'll link it down below. But I put on my nightstand the books that I'm reading next. So the book that is up next is actually downstairs because I wasn't sure if I was going to start it tonight. It's the Falling in Love montage. But when I finish that, I want to read She Gets the Girl, Lessons in Chemistry, and then Dear Jacob. So this is kind of like my November TBR. And then the remaining is down there. But it's almost 9 p.m. and I'm actually heading to Ashton's place tonight. And then like I mentioned, his parents are coming over here tomorrow. So I need to get ready. So yeah, welcome to this video, whatever this is. So fun fact, when I'm going over to Ashton's place on a night when he works, it's kind of just like a waiting game. He does tattoos. So I'm just waiting until he texts me to say that he finished his tattoo because you never really know when you're going to finish a tattoo appointment. It just kind of depends on the client and if they were easy to work with or if they had to change designs or how long it took for placement. So I never know how late he works because he's tattooing. So I usually just wait until he texts me and tells me that he finished and then I leave to go to his place. So it's just a waiting game right now until he's done with work. So maybe if I get ready, pack up, up and I'm just waiting for him I can start this tonight and then maybe I'll vlog that a little bit and we could talk about it soon happy November 11th I'm so glad I started to vlog
I've been using this silicone LED face mask for a couple of weeks now. I just did a short meditation through Spotify. Well, I had this on because you have to have your eyes closed during it. So it provides a really great self-care moment for me as well. Marty's been curled up on bed with me and then I've got the book I'm reading and some of my YouTube journals and work here as well. I'm gonna get some work done before bed. I've really been enjoying this LED face mask just for the relaxation meditation time but also the LED light benefits that this provides so traditionally I feel like skincare like this was only accessible through like celebrity status or professional skincare centers I'm so happy that such high professional technology is being accessible for day-to-day -day life and it's easy to order online because I would always see like celebrities using this in years past and think it was so like inaccessible but now I feel like there's so many products like this that provide high quality skincare at home in the comfort of your own bed which is so nice the company did send me this about a month ago i want to say and i've been testing it out ever since and i have noticed a difference this mask has 110 upgraded led beads that provide a powerful but safe treatment the use of the led light reduces pigmentation redness inflammation acne it also reduces fine lines and wrinkles it also improves skin texture tone and firmness you should use it for 10 minutes at a time up to three to five times a week and I have been testing it out and I have noticed a difference so far which is amazing my skin feels very firm and youthful almost like a glowingness to it overall it just provides a healthier youthful happier looking skin which is always the goal it's waterproof easy to clean and comfortable to wear I mean I was literally just laying in bed wearing this as long as you have your eyes closed during it it really doesn't matter what you are doing but it is really convenient so the company did send this over to me to try but this video is not sponsored I have genuinely been using it and wanted to share my thoughts so a big thank you to the company for sending this I believe they have a really good sale going on right now so definitely check it out and then I also have a discount code Michaela 10 apply it at checkout it's such a great deal and like I said I feel like treatments like this used to only be accessible to higher profile individuals or more professional skin treatment centers so it's just so awesome that you can order something like this online and use it in your day-to-day -day life and see the results like this is unbelievable I'm having such a great like self-care me time moment when I put this on and I want to make more like nighttime routines or self-care videos and you will definitely see this in the future it's also super easy to charge you just plug this into like a USB port I believe I can charge it anywhere and like I mentioned earlier it has seven different colors on here and it's all very easy to use and figure out and you just charge it but definitely check it out I recommend it it also has these like velcro things to put it on really really nice and I use it all the time it is definitely getting late I have a little bit of work I would like to do in bed and then I would love to read this book but I think I'm going to end this video here I'm so glad that I decided to start vlogging and I got to document some really cozy November days also my book Instagram is almost to a thousand subscribers already so definitely subscribe to that if you like book content or my main Instagram if you haven't subscribed to that but I'm going to finish some work and then read my book and head to bed I'm pretty sure the next video is going to be a full book collection home library tour if not it's the video after the next video so stay tuned for that but thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out the led face mask and anything else that i mentioned in this video i'll see you real soon bye